Hey guys, it's Jimmy P. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm just going to start off by applying my foundation. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. It's in the color 109, classic tan. I'm using an e.l.f. blending brush. I mean, not a blending brush, I'm sorry. Foundation brush to like blend that all out. I'm really just doing my regular routine. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline New York Concealer in the color 25, which is medium tan. This is actually like a shade lighter than my normal um, concealer. I wanted to get like that really ashy look for this skull look. So um, that's why I chose to use this one instead. Going in with the Beauty Blender and I'm just blending all of that out. Now I'm going to go ahead in with my um, Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I'm just going to be baking my face. Again, I want to be extremely like ashy looking for this go. So I let that sit for a long time. I want to say like 15 minutes, no joke. Now I want to go in with like this regular brown um, pencil, um, eyebrow pencil. I think I got this from like the beauty store or something. I didn't want to use my regular one because this one is a little bit more chocolate, chocolate ear <laughs> than my regular um, eyebrow pencil. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going in to be like really specific and really like cleaned up with my brows. I want it to be really like rough because this is a skull look and I want it to be edgy and all that good stuff. I want to go ahead and, and clean that up a little bit with some L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the color Caramel Beige. And I want to go in with my Too Faced palette. This is in the Semi Chocolate Bar palette I believe. I'm using the shades Truffled, which is a brown shade, and then Peanut Butter, which is like a burnt orange shade. Mm, this palette smells so good. I'm just placing that in my crease just to like use that as my transition shade and give it like a really smoked out, like burnt look. Now I'm going to go in with this Smoke and Mirrors gel liner that I got from like five and below. It was literally five dollars. This is like a black liner. It's so intense. I loved it. I placed that on my lid and I'm going to go in with a blending brush. No, actually I went in with a smudge brush and smudged the edges out. And then I'm going to go in with my blending brush and take some black shadow from the Too Faced palette and just place that all over and smoke it out. Now again, I didn't care how like neat I was. I wanted it to be messy. Like I wanted it to be messy and edgy. I want to go in with that same gel liner because I felt like my eyebrows were a little too brown. I wanted them to be really dark. So I used that same gel liner and I just placed that like over my brows to give it a more intense look and a more defined look. And I used my spoolie brush to blend out the front part to give that little gradient effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and just dust away all of the excess powder. I'm taking that same blending brush and some black shadow and placing that on my lower lash line and smoking it out. I also added some burnt orange um, that I used on my eyes and placed that underneath as well to give it a really nice grunge look. What am I using? Oh, I'm using the black liners from, this, from the mirrors and smoke thing as well and placing that in my waterline. Now I'm going to go in with some regular mascara and just place that on my eyelashes and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. I'm going to go in with my Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to be taking that a really dark brown shade um, and just placing that in 
like whatever my face creases when I make an angry face that will give you the illusion that you are always angry basically and it worked I'm gonna also take this on the bridge of my nose um I'm sorry the sides of my nose to just you know intensify it I want to take some black eyeshadow and some gel liner and carve out my contour to give me like that really sunken in face um, I realized after I did this that I should have did this last because it dried and it was harder to blend out but whatever now this stuff this part is pretty self-explanatory just follow what I'm doing I can't really explain it I'm really just drawing out my nose for the skull look it's really easy I swear I went in with um, some black eyeshadow first to just outline it and then I went over it again with the black gel liner. I'm going to go in with some black shadow to set the gel liner and I'm also going to use that to smoke out the lines on my nose. I'm going to go in with my Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to use like this really brown um, eyeshadow color to with like a gray undertone to create the shallows in my cheeks. I'm putting that all over my face. Whatever I would usually contour, I'm putting that on my face. So my chin, forehead, my contour. This part right here probably was the hardest for me. I'm going to go ahead in with some black shadow and just like put that the closest to my lines and just smoke it out um, this one you just really have to just play with and just get it to your desire took me a little minute but I think it turned out well so now I'm gonna go in with um, the Maybelline concealer again and I'm gonna be placing that on my lips and using a beauty blender to blend it out basically so when I create my um, my skull lips It'll look more like a skull and not just like lines with lips, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm also going to put my foundation over top of that, blend that out with a beauty blender, and then set it with my airspun loose powder again. Taking away my lips, y'all. Taking them away. Technology is an asshole. My camera died when I was, while I was recording my lips, so I don't have that footage. I'm going to go ahead in with some loose setting powder, um, something that's too white for my face, and just place that on my face to give like a really ashy look. But this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in my next Halloween tutorial. Mwah.